In today's video, I will be reviewing the Boya BYM1 to test if it's still worth it to buy in 2021. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have done it. What is up people of Earth? Welcome to another unboxing video in which you've seen in the intro, I will be reviewing and unboxing the Boya BYM1 Lavalier Lapel Microphone. It is a small, compact mic, tough enough for simple and basic video production. So, without further ado, let's unbox it right now. So, this is the box of the Boya BYM1 right here. And don't forget about this little helper. As you can see, the box is a bit obnoxious because of its slight deformation. Maybe it's because of the delivery process, but you know what they say? It's what's inside matters, am I right? <laughs> Well, my old Swiss knife can't handle the strength of the packaging. Let me just get my trusty scissors. Now this is what's in front of the box, just some text and the logo accompanied by some off stickers. Same as the sides, nothing too special. And at the back, we have some specifications and details that we will talk about later in this video. And now, the moment of truth, it's time to open it! Firstly, we got a leather pouch which of course has all the equipment. The lavalier mic itself with a very long cable. We also have the additional accessories here in this sealed plastic. And lastly, a silica gel. Now, let's open up the sealed plastic. First up, we have a clothing clip made up of plastic, but you know, it's pretty sturdy. Next up is a little windscreen, good for avoiding wind crackling sounds. Then the 3.5 to 6.3 millimeter adapter. And a LR44 battery. And of course, our compact carrying leather pouch. And I forgot to mention, you also get a warranty card, which is of course English and Chinese, I don't know if that's Chinese or something. And of course, our trusty manual guide, as you can see, the Boya BYM1 Start Manual, alright? So we're not gonna need this right now, we're gonna throw it again. I've been throwing stuff for almost... Now that you've seen the components inside the box, 
let's tackle about its finest specifications. So this mic, the Boya BY-M1, has an omnidirectional polar pattern, which means it will maintain or equalize the audio whatever side of the mic is facing towards the audio output. Well, I'll be the judge of that later on because we will test it on our mobile phone. It's an Android to be exact. So at this point, I'm gonna just speed run the specs because it's really outrageous. So this mic has a electrode conducer with a frequency range of 65 Hz to 18 kHz. It retrieves signal by 74 decibels SPL or sound pressure level. This mic has an output impedance of 1000 ohms or less. It requires a LR44 battery which is included that can last over 700 hours. How is that even possible? The rubber cable extends to over a tremendous length of 6 meters. So I hope it does doesn't come out and just roll around the floor or something. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Well, it pretty much did. <laughs> and in overall, it has a weight of 21.5 grams, so it's pretty handy. Now that all the build info, specs, and requirements are placed aside, let's check the audio quality. But still, it can change depending on what device you use, but it will still leave a similar result. So now this is how it sounds in my Huawei Y6 Pro 2019. It has no microphone in it. I took out the microphone from this phone right now and as you can see, it's not plugged in. The Boya BYM1 is in my hands so you can assure that I'm not using any other microphone. And as you can see in the mirror, I have no microphones placed in my phone right now. So this is how I sound without any microphones. Can you hear me loud and clear? I am not hearing anything right now, but I can assure there will be a big difference when it comes to the audio quality, okay? <laughs> Now I am holding this little microphone and let me see how the omnidirectional polar pattern really works. So they say it's gonna equalize your audio whatever direction this mic is facing. So I am going to turn this. Okay, so can you still hear me? I am turning as you can see the clip is now turning. It means I am turning around this mic. So let me just put it upside down. Would it still be capturing my voice loud and clear as you can see but if you have some ideas on your mind about this boya bym1 lavalier lapel microphone you can comment down below and tell me something about this microphone okay so this is me testing boya bym1 right here clipped in my shirt right now it has no filters at all it is not post-processed and as you can see i haven't placed the windscreen to cover up the mic so i am exposed to as you can see right here there's an electric fan facing me to give the microphone a little challenge so now i'm going to turn off the fan right now and i am going to take off this windscreen okay oh! Ew! check it on how far can it retrieve my audio okay so now i am putting it far away from my mouth and just tell me in the comments down below if it sounds really good i don't really know because i can't hear it like i said i will tell you the price later on but it's very very budget friendly don't worry so i'm going to show you how you can set this microphone up so you can start your video recordings as soon as possible so first let's start off with this little audio what do you call this again let me just call it the audio capsule because i have no idea so you have this capsule right here pretty well made as you can see if you can hear it as you can hear it's made from very thin aluminum and it's pretty decent slide and twist off the cover of the capsule right there and as you can see we have a little thread right there as you can see and there's 
the hole right there to put on the battery to give it more power if you are using a camera or to your PC. Now just get your battery and in the audio capsule, just gotta find this icon right here in the battery. It's a plus symbol. I, it's not focusing. I'm, I'm so sorry. So it's a plus symbol. As you can see at the top, there's the plus symbol also. So you just gotta put it at top, okay? Pull this little thread and get the battery out so you can replace it or something or if you're using a smartphone, you can take it out as well. Now just put the cover back to the audio capsule and just place it back again now. Just twist it until it's very close and locked in. Anyways, let's hop on to the main audio input right here. We have the microphone right here. As you can see, it's very bald. <laughs> it's just you're like building Legos. You just gotta get your clip right here. It's a very... As you can see, there's the neck right there and we can just place it in. Just hoop it in and then push. Boom. As you can see, if that sound just clicks, it means it's in. So it's pretty sturdy enough to handle the clip in your clothes or something. And as you can see, it's not falling off. It's very, very tough. Now after that, you just want to put this windscreen right here. Very puffy windscreen. And as you can see, it's a foam windscreen. You just want to wear it to the head of the microphone and just like that, just pull it in both sides. You have the windscreen right here. Now going through the 3.5 millimeter jack right here, if you want to put it on some audio interface or something, some speakers, I don't know what this really does, but all it takes to put it on a 6.5 millimeter jack is just plugging it into a 3.5 like this. And as you can see, there's a click, boom. It's now in. So I found a cool feature about this microphone. Watch, watch this. I'm gonna beatbox a little bit, alright? Also, a little reminder, if you want to put it on your mobile phones or your iPad or your tablets, I suggest you take off your cover first because if you don't take off your cover, your microphone wouldn't be detected through your cameras and it will give you some more static stuff. So guys, my final ratings for this microphone, the Boya BYM1, is pretty good. Well, I'm gonna give it a 4.5, maybe 4.5 or 4.6. Between those numbers, that's the rate I am going to give this microphone. And I also suggest when you are using a smartphone, don't put the battery in. So for the price, drumroll please. It is only 350 Philippine pesos when I bought it in Lazada. You can buy it in Lazada only here in the Philippines. But if you want to, I saw it on Amazon. Maybe more or less than $10. I haven't really checked it yet. But still, it would come up in that price as well. Nice. So it's very affordable with the features and all those other stuff. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button right there. Subscribe, hit the notification to get notified on our new uploads. That's it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.